everybody, Jesse Dexty here. Welcome to a little Mario Golf 64 video. Well, we know when I got it, I said that I had the game and I got the transfer pack, but now I'm able to use said transfer pack because yesterday I got Mario Golf for the Game Boy. So now, after all these years, after finally owning both of these, I can actually get the secret characters over. So let's go ahead and do that. Turn that on. There we go. Well, I need sound too. Come on. Hey, there you go. Okay. So let's get over. To the menu. Nothing's happening. What the hell is happening? What am I supposed to do here? Is there, uh, is there a prompt you have to do or what? How do you... Okay. There we go! My god! Okay, so this is what happens. Alright, status. Conduct a pack jump. To which Game Boy game pack will you transfer data? Okay. Transfer your Game Boy. Oh, enter, oh. Okay, never mind. Game Boy character, conduct, yes. No saved characters available? What? So I have to unlock the characters on the Game Boy version first, and then bring it over. Okay. I see how it is now. You're not gonna make it easy for me, are ya? Well, pfft. Hello, everybody. Ah, here we go. Now it worked. Okay. Well, I had turned on Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color for the GameCube Game Boy Player. And I was uh, researching how to unlock the uh, four secret characters here. Um, they are Kid, Joe, Azalea, Azalea, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Sherry. Four characters that are transferable to the Game Boy uh, N64 version. But uh, there appears to be only three save files in the Game Boy Color. Uh, version that uh, you can create a character in and there's only three save files so I think you can only transfer three at a time so I think uh, I heard at one point when I was watching a video that you need basically two copies of the Game Boy Color Mario Golf in order to have all four uh, super characters at the same time being transferred over Otherwise, if you have just one copy, as I found out, then it's only three. So, let's get over the Game Boy Colors, I mean characters, and there we go. Okay, Kid, Azalea, and Joe. So, basically, what this means is you don't actually have to play the game, uh, Game Boy Color version, you don't have to play the game, like go through a uh, tournament or versus mode or any of that. You just have to create the character with these uh, names and uh, um, genders. So, for Kid, you just uh, make a male character and you have the choice between two faces. Joe and Kid, and you just pick pick them, put the leave the name as is, as they're automatically named Kid, as well as Joe, etc. And then you save the game. Well, kind of. You just go through the introduction thing that they do in the game, and then uh, it's automatically saved. So it's uh, now here, and you don't have to actually play any of the game in there. So all you need to do is just create the character and boom, they're right here. So, I'm gonna bring in all three of them. Yes. Bring in all three. 
I heard that you you actually have to do this every time you want to get these characters to show up here. <clears throat> they won't actually save to uh They won't actually save to the N64 characters, so you have to do this every time you uh turn on the game. And those transmit apparently for some reason. Um So you can transfer Mario Golf for N64 data to Mario Golf for the Game Boy, that's interesting. I'm not sure how that works exactly. Um bring Game Boy character ex experience points over to um ah, uh, okay. We don't need to do any of that. But they are here now, so here I am! Let's uh, do a little, uh... <clears throat> Let's do a little... Showcase with them. They're now in 3D compared to... 2D. So Kid has the yellow lightning compared to Wario's purple lightning, which is pretty cool. I like that. Um, oh wow, I'm used to playing on the virtual console version with little to no uh, lag. There's a bit more lag than the N64 nice version, so there's that. Let's hold out and go from there. I'm surprised I got put the jump pad twice on there. But yeah, that's kid there. Now let's see. Go with the Zayla this time. Here I am. And do the same, but on a different course. Let's go Koopa Puck. Let's see what her. Uh, it's probably gonna be a blue line. Nice job. Red line like Bowser. I like that. Blue is the more common one between most of the characters in the game, but uh, these four secret characters, they are a little unique and that's awesome. Okay, let's go there. I'm surprised I'm getting perfect impact every time. I, wow. I don't know. Nice on! Okay, let's get it in. Said move it over. That should do nope. Nice touch. That one. Oh, I can take them all of them. There we go. Now it should go in. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I'll take a mulligan one more time. Why not? Um, if I don't get this in, then... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Completely missed it that time. Oh, wow. We'll see her paw animation. Nice paw. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, now let's uh, see what Joe has to offer you. He reminds me of uh, Alan from uh, Passage Golf 4, so a little more like him, snowboarding and everything. Alrighty, what does his, uh... Nice yep, his shot. is blue. And, if you notice, he actually swung the club a little like Sonic. So, he has a bit of a uh, similar style to Sunny at least seems like, which is interesting. So his is not really unique, but no oh, well. Nice on. All right, we'll see his booty animation. Nice birdie. Woo -hoo -hoo, yeah. All right. You can see uh, the secret characters in the um, in the uh, credits of the game, so. You can see some of the animation and 3D models there, but this is actually them when you play as them in the game, so... 
Well, there's Sally left to unlock, but since I only have one copy of this game, which is unfortunate, I'm gonna have to look for another copy of the game and get Sally. But I can just uh, play as uh, one of them at a time in my uh, playthrough for the videos on my channel. So I can upload uh, one at a time or all three at once here and then do uh, everything with them and then I go to Siri and do the same thing now and we'll see then now uh, what her uh, um, power side looks like. So yeah, that, uh, that was it for this uh, transferring of the Game Boy Color characters. This is the first time ever that I'm actually using these characters in the game here because I've never earned, I mean, not earned, what? I've never owned these two in the past, so my cousin had the uh, transfer pack when she had the uh, Pokemon Stadium, but uh, I never actually used this, and I never had a copy of this, and my cousin didn't have Mario Golf either, so there's that. She was into Pokemon more than uh, Mario, so... Well, she liked Mario, but uh, she was uh, being a big into Pokemon back then. So, um, I'll have to look for another copy of this if I want all four at the same time, which means you'll have to do that too. I heard that uh, Mario Tennis, um, the characters that you transfer over to the N64 version will actually be saved, so you don't have to do this again. But for Mario Golf, for some reason, you have to use this in the game every time you want to load in the characters because they will go away when you turn the game off, so. Alright, I'm gonna test this uh, little theory here. If uh, the characters don't show up after resetting the game, turning it off and back on, then uh, yes, you do have to re um, use the uh, transfer pack, so let's try it out. Turn it off, then back on. Do I have to do this again? Yes, I do. Of course. Yep. Well, there's the proof right there. I turned it off, back on, gone. So I have to transfer it again. What the hell? Yeah, that's a bummer, but what can you do? So yeah, um, I wanted to show that I finally got the transfer pack in this. And I'm able to use these uh, secret characters now, so they will be added to uh, my Mario Golf walkthrough videos. Um, I'm not sure what they'll be doing yet. I'll probably have uh, them uh, do one versus match between um, one of the characters. Um, Kid will probably go up against maybe Charlie or um, Plum, a little like the more to his drive distance and style. When I try to do versus mode matches, I try to make the two characters be a little more equal in terms of uh, drive distance and power and stuff like that. Um, but I could uh, put them up against uh, uh, more powerful characters, like maybe uh, Joe could go up against uh, Sonny or Harry or even Wario. Uh, uh, hell, I can make uh, Kid go up against Wario, the Battle of the Lightnings, um, from the uh, Power Thoughts. I could do that, probably, and see what happens. Uh, Azela could go up against Maple, maybe? I don't know, I heard. It's a rumor, but uh, I heard that maybe um, Azela is uh, Maple's daughter, in a way, I don't know. I don't know if that's actually true, but uh, it could be similar. Um, Joe, I could probably put him up against uh, Mario or Sunny or or whatever. Maybe Luigi. I don't know. So yeah, later.